Hey, remember back in the day when you buy a TV set and it will come with a remote control, you get all excited about it, and just to find out that the batteries weren't included and you can't really operate the remote control? Well, something similar might happen with the Tesla Model Y. Uh, probably not, but here's a very, very kind of a shocking statement that came from Panasonic um, last week from their CEO. Apparently, they may not have enough batteries to power these Model Ys that's going in production next year. Let me tell you what uh, uh, Panasonic CEO said, what the overall picture is as far as the, uh, the, the partnership between Panasonic and Tesla, and is this a problem that's really just kind of engulfing the entire industry and there's just going to be shortage of electric cars before we kind of you know get off the ground? Uh, let me tell you all about what's happening right now with Panasonic and Tesla coming up next. Welcome to E4 Electric, your number one source of unbiased electric car news. If this is your first time here, go ahead and click on that subscribe button down there so you don't miss anything moving forward. All right, so this is a bit of a surprise. Uh, now, we, we, there is a little bit of a background, right? That, so the, uh, the Gigafactory is a partnership for, with, with, uh, between Tesla and the Panasonic th since, I believe, 2014. And this is one of the business-wise strongest uh, sort of uh, advantages for Tesla because they got their own, it's the biggest battery production facility in the world um, it's with a very very like top of the line brand Panasonic um, in terms of uh, production of batteries um, and it's been going really well now what two three weeks ago um, as you remember we were talking about how Panasonic decided not to invest any more money in expanding uh, their production with Tesla and because they realizing that they're losing money they spend a lot of money I guess ramping uh, their things up for the uh, Model 3 ramp up but that didn't come on time and so they ended up wasting a lot of money and time so what they're gonna do instead is trying to leverage the equipment that they already have there to produce more batteries now that's not the best news to hear and also it looks like that in uh, the Gigafactory 3 uh, in China and Shanghai, Panasonic may not be at all the partner for uh, Tesla to make batteries uh, that, for the cars that are going to be produced in Shanghai. That's another thing. On top of that, as you remember, Panasonic might be uh, creating a partnership with Toyota the company that really is not making any real electric cars, but might. Um, and that will probably even further kind of drive a, 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 a maybe a bit, a bit of a distance between Panasonic and Tesla. And that's not good. As you know, many other companies are struggling with um, battery production. If you know, if you remember, uh, Kia Niro EV, Hyundai Kona EV, and many other brands, including even the... Uh, um, uh, Audi e-tron that's on sale right now, all of them are on sale right now, they're being produced in limited amounts because of the battery production. And, you know, a lot of those are using third-party suppliers like LG Cam and, and, and Cattle and so forth. And so, so this is becoming a bigger issue here. Now, I don't think this is necessarily the chemical supply for the uh, for the batteries because as a matter of fact the Tesla batteries use the least amount of the chemicals uh, in there in some of them but it is a problem because if they're going to up the production how are they going to make the Model Y is this going to create a major problem for Tesla all right Let's talk about it. Before that, of course, I want to remind you that this video and this channel is sponsored by Byton. Uh, check out their all-electric SUV coming to the U.S. in Europe next year, uh, m -Byte. It's called, uh, just starting at $45,000, amazing in in uh, a, a, a huge screen uh, inside experience for this car, five screens total. Uh, go ahead and make your reservation with zero money down at uh, Byton.com or in the description of this video. Over 50,000 people, including myself, have already done that takes about 60 seconds all right so um you know this is this is a bit of a um, again this is this is i did not see this coming and the weirdest thing is that what panasonic ceo said is that it seems like they haven't talked to each other about it so check out the statement so ba ba basically he said batteries and this is uh, uh, this was originally reported by bloomberg uh, batteries will run out of tesla stars to sell the model y <laughs> okay um and expands its business next year. Okay, I mean, the thing that they are counting on to survive? Uh, what will we do then? Good question, the CEO of Panasonic. It's one of a few topics to discuss with Tesla, including battery production in China. Gee, maybe, maybe talk to each other before this. This is a pretty public statement, and it seems like you guys don't have each other's numbers. I mean, I, I did... did I, I see this is this is where I don't really understand how how this whole thing works because um, by the way this is a, uh, a model Y picture that I took at the unveiling and in, uh, in uh, 
uh, Los Angeles and Hawthorne, California when I was there a couple of months ago. And when they were making all these announcements with the car goes into production, when the car's going on sale and all of that stuff, it, it is, it's astounding that they haven't talked to the biggest supplier that the company uses, which is for their batteries, and they haven't figured that out. Now, also, I'm assuming Tesla knows that Panasonic has not done well financially with this Gigafactory, and they are, after all, a business. They're their own standalone business. They need to make money, and they've invested a bunch of them, and they're not seeing the return. This usually is a cause for a lot of worry if Tesla only has one supplier, obviously, and it's a, it's a big deal. So, sounds like trouble to me. Sounds like something that they don't have a plan for, and sounds like something that can literally hold the production, uh, either entirely of a Model Y, unless they figure something out, or uh, uh, have a limited production of Model Y, and then also limited production of all of the other cars. I mean... What other what other solutions do you really see? Um, and in in this case, I I'm, I can I can't imagine them not being worried about it. Uh, maybe get another supplier that's a little bit more willing to invest. Maybe uh, give Panasonic a little bit of uh, you know to invest or 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 co-sponsor the expansion um, of the battery production uh, in the Gigafactory. Maybe create another contract with them in Shanghai, China. But but something has to happen. They can't just say. Oops, we're going to run out of batteries for the car that you're looking to start producing next year. It just doesn't make any sense to me. So pretty alarming. Um, I hope uh, we're going to get to the bottom of them. I hope there will be some something coming from Tesla and or hopefully Elon Musk. Hopefully not on Twitter. Or hopefully in an official press release. But nevertheless, um, this needs to be solved. Uh, don't forget to get our, on, on our VIP list, uh, exclusive stories every week. Also, some of the exclusive deals that are coming over there just for those who subscribe. It's free. Just need your email address. That's pretty much it. Don't need your cat's name or your birth birth certificate. None of that. Just an email address. Go to e4electric.com slash VIP and boom, you are going to be on our list. All right. Looking forward to your comments, guys. Let's see if you're as puzzled as I am and or have some sort of clue what's going to happen. Looking forward to that. Other than that, I'll see you next time. And remember to stay charged.